Hello ladies and gentlemen, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at the trade-off uh, between building new lumber camps and just leaving the old ones. Now, we all know that if you only build one lumber camp in the whole game, your villagers are gonna end up walking a really long distance. However, we also know that if you build a new lumber camp for every tree you cut down, in the end, you're gonna end up with no wood. Of course, the lumber camp is 100 wood and a tree gives you 100 wood. So really, what's that ideal balance there? Now I've decided that we're actually gonna answer this mathematically and I've designed an experiment to test it and we are gonna see how big of a deal are these new camps and is it something that you should really be paying attention to. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so just to point out the conditions of this experiment, first of all, uh, this is in the Dark Age. This is not with a civilization that has any kind of woodcutting bonus like the Celts. We are also uh, not really measuring the overcrowding effect that happens when there's a lot of villagers around uh, the Lumber Camp versus the actual distance they walk. We're putting those together. So we're going to have 15 villagers here and one Lumber Camp in the one group, in the control group. And in the other group, we're going to be running the same experiment with the same 15 villagers. However, I'm actually going to be refreshing the lumber camps as they cut. And we're going to see, at the end of the day, which of those two has more wood in total. What I want to know is whether the distance really matters, uh, or if that there's like a trade-off that it ends up all being the same, because it costs you the extra wood and the extra time to make the lumber camp, and does that completely balance out with the extra efficiency of having your villagers not have to walk as far. Every two minutes, I wrote down how much wood there was in total collected so far. I put time on the x-axis and the amount total wood at that point on the y-axis. As we can see as I graph the relationship is that the rate slows down over time. And we see that as a flattening out of the graph. So what that tells us is that it's becoming less efficient and that really fast collection rate that was happening at the beginning is no longer keeping up once they have to walk a long ways. That makes sense and that's very intuitive because um, as they're walking and they're delivering the wood from a long ways away, that's all time that they're not actually cutting. So that's going to slow down that overall collection rate. So I added a trend line to the graph and I did a little bit of calculus on it. And uh, don't worry, nothing too intense. And what it means is that um, if I put in different points for the time, I can tell roughly how quickly it was that the 15 villages were collecting the wood. For instance, at time zero, they began collecting wood at 536 uh, wood per minute for all 15 villagers. After 20 minutes, that was down to just under 400 wood per minute. By 40 minutes, that was down to about 250. And by 60 minutes, so after one hour of just running on that same lumber camp, they were down to about 100 wood per minute. So what this tells us is uh, there is definitely a cost to, um, and quite a significant cost, uh, to just leaving the lumber camp and letting your villagers walk forever. Then I repeated the experiment, and this time I um, tried to build more lumber camps in order to minimize that travel distance. So the first time that I had another lumber camp, I split it in so that there were two different lumber camps uh, in order to prevent a little bit of that overcrowding, and then as time went, I just continually added more and more, and I found some interesting results. So um, first of all, noticing that whenever I built a lumber camp, there, that was some wasted time. And what happened is it not only cost 100 wood to make it, but it was also the villagers had to stop what they were doing to build it. And then even after that, there's a little bit of confusion between the villagers after they built it, and they were kind of running into each other as they tried to find a new tree to cut. So there is actually a significant cost to building a lumber camp. That being said, the payoff is definitely that you can maintain the same collection rate of about 500 um, or basically just under what the initial rate is because there is some loss over time with um, the wood building the new ones but what it does mean is you can maintain that steady rate and what I wanted to know was where is that point and what I found was that about 24 to 26 minutes in game if you have the 15 villagers collecting that's when the benefit of moving the large lumber camps actually starts to exceed the penalty for not building them and that's uh, when it does become important that you want to build a new lumber camp that being said, over micromanagement actually slows down the rate. And up until that point, uh, building new lumber camps is actually slowing down uh, your wood collection overall um, because of the waste of time with the villagers. This is a picture of what it looks like roughly when 
that time has come that you should build a new lumber camp. Before this, it's not actually in your best interest to build a new one, and after this, you're wasting a lot of time uh, with the villagers walking around. So around that 20 minute mark seems to be uh, the ideal place that you would want to destroy that old one and build a new one um, a little bit closer so they don't have to walk as far. So this is going to be kind of, uh, for me anyway, I'm quite happy with this result. And uh, now I know, so this is roughly what it looks like when I should be building a new one. Um, it does kind of, it shows, I was actually surprised with the effect. It shows that it is an important thing to keep an eye on. And I know you're doing a million other things at the same time in this game, but it does actually end up being one of those things that it's definitely worth uh, noticing and keeping an eye on. So I hope this has been helpful to you and your game, and maybe it confirmed what you thought, and maybe you're a little bit surprised by it. Uh, leave a like if, uh, if you might have learned something from this, and leave a comment if you have any other, uh, any other suggestions of kind of interesting things that you've always kind of wondered about the game. Yeah, so I'm Spirit of the Law, and I'll be coming up with you with more Age of Empires videos on every Friday, and this is just kind of an extra one I decided to throw in there. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.